Have you had any problems? None. Christine Donahue recently underwent skin cancer surgery. I just noticed I had like a little spot here that kept scabbing over. It never really healed. She was referred to Dr. Victor Neal, director of dermatologic surgery at Mass General Hospital after a biopsy showed cancerous cells. He scheduled her for Mohs surgery, a technique developed in the 1940s to remove skin cancer on the face. It's a way that we are able to very carefully map where the tumor invades on the skin. The advantage of that is it leads to a very high cure rate. The disadvantage, accurately predicting the tumor's edges, can be a guessing game. That's done with the naked eye. And in cases like Christine's, what looks like a small area to remove turns out to be much larger than anticipated. There is something about the way basal cell skin cancer grows that makes it very inapparent to the human eye exactly how far it's moved in the, in the skin. And that's where this machine comes in. Dr. Neal worked with Dr. Anna Yaroslavsky at UMass Lowell to develop OPI, optical polarization imaging. It uses blue light and special lenses to take pictures of the collagen in the skin. It sort of looks like uh, a piece of gauze. When tumors are present, these tumors secrete enzymes or proteins that chew away at the collagen structure and create holes in that natural sort of lattice structure. The purple area is cancerous and these images help the surgeon know precisely where the cancer is before surgery starts. A recent pilot study found OPI is 98 percent accurate in predicting tumor edges and Dr. Neal says it doesn't replace Mohs surgery, simply complements it. Our machine is giving the surgeon the ability to have a much higher success rate in initially removing the tumor in one go. So it's really incredible what it can do. That machine, though, only being used for study right now. They're working to make it smaller. You saw it's kind of on that cart. And then they hope to expand to other study locations across the country.